over 1.35 billion people, China is the most populated country on Earth. And now, as it looks to establish itself as one of the world's biggest football leagues, it's enlisting some of the globe's top talent. My agent came with the offer, and it was a shock at the time. But I talked to my wife, and we decided to accept it. In China, we didn't really know what to expect, but I've been pleasantly surprised. It's a decision that I don't ever regret making. Guangzhou Evergrande is China's most successful football club. Coached by Luis Felipe Scolari, now home to a contingent of Brazilian players who've made the move east. <laughs> The last six months I spent in England were very hard for me. I wasn't playing brilliantly or playing consecutive matches. And then the Guangzhou offer appeared, so I decided to accept it for the new challenge. At first, I thought I would find it really difficult. I talked a lot to my wife and my family, and even with Paul Ao who's now with Internacional. I asked him what the club was like, and he gave me some tips. He told me I should come, because it's a good club. It's serious, responsible, and one of the biggest in China. We arrived together, Gula and I. And when we got here, and we're in a place that was really ugly, I said to him, my God, man, where did we end up? But then we got to know the city, and well, it's beautiful. We chose where we live. It's called Canton Place. It's an exclusive area in Guangdong. Then the technical team arrived, and also Paulinho. And today everybody lives in the same complex, and there is lots of socializing. Come here to the 8th floor or to the 14th. So we're always spending time together and telling stories. Adjusting in any new country has its challenges, but home comforts have helped settle the stars into their new home. We bring our own beans from Brazil. We bring lots of stuff from home. But there are Brazilian steakhouses here. It's pretty chilled. And we have everything we need. Whenever there's any free time, we try to go out. Me, my wife, my mother and my son. We're always trying to do things. And whenever we have a bit more time off, we go travelling. There's everything you need. All kinds of different restaurants from all over the world, supermarkets. You live really well. I don't think there's anything to complain about. I adapted really easily to the city, the country and the football. So I think I've settled in well. I go out and get to see the city of Guangdong because there are so many cool areas and nice historical places. I've also had the opportunity to go and see the Great Wall of China. Alan, Gula and Paulinho are just some of the star names in town, arrivals that are driving a growing fan culture. You can see how much they love football, how much they love the team and how much they love Guangzhou. They're very charismatic. They like contacts, and they really like taking photos. It's always photos, photos, photos. And they like football, a lot. So the hope is for football to grow here. In five years' time, the progress will be evident. It will always keep growing. It's like a party for them. They're not used to having so many big players in a league that was relatively unknown until recently. So it's fantastic for them to have these big names. It can only be a good thing, because with the arrival of big players and managers, like Philip Pau, who is already a big name, it raises the profile of Chinese football. They may be far from home, but there's still the chance to shine on the world stage. 
AFC Champions League winners last season, Guangzhou made their second appearance at the FIFA Club World Cup in December. I've already had the opportunity to win that title with Corinthians. And it was important for me to return with Guangzhou, score an important goal, and help the team get to the semi-final against Barcelona. Just the fact that a Chinese team took part is a massive step, both for us here and for the Chinese. And obviously, it's amazing to play against a team with a high profile like Barcelona. If it's really cool for us, imagine what it's like for the Chinese who aren't used to it. Big names, prestigious tournaments. It's all part of the same ambition for Chinese football, to compete at the very top level. I don't know if it will reach a European level, but the hope is that it will grow substantially. I think the same goes for the Chinese national team. They have a lot of young players coming through who learn a lot from the foreign players and coaches. I think the Chinese league will continue to grow, as will Chinese football as a whole.